27, starting it forward, number 30, Julian Campani. Six eight, starting it forward, number 10, Jeremy Sohan. Six one guard, number 33, Trey Jones. Six five forward, number 24, Devin. Seven four, the man in the middle, number one, Victor Wembanyama. Once again, the starters for your San Antonio Spurs. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Look at the opening lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies. We've got Williams. He's out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Kennard in at the shooting guard position. And for San Antonio, the guard there are Jones and Vassell. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. And it's Champagny in at the three slot. And this is the kind of basketball we love to watch. Right, Richard? Teamwork, playing for one another, making each other better. You need that to be successful. It doesn't matter how much talent you have. Teams that play hero ball make it too easy for the defense to adjust. We won't be seeing too much of that tonight. Passes it to Tillman. And the rejection by the Grizzlies shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. The first one falls. And once the team to beat in the West, Greg, San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle-tested. I believe these guys will find a way. Now the pass to Champagny. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Rembenyama looking it over. Just four to shoot. Fires for three. Tips it up. Rembenyama on the foul. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Here's Gilliard, defended by Jones. Kennard against Vassell. That's good by Kennard. Kennard. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. He finds the shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Pass to Tillman. And the rejection by Wembenyama! And he could Ooh, not get that fun. one to go. Out of contact, Tell and he'll go to the line for two. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Wembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? <laughs> Well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. And Jones over to help. There's Williams with the three. Got a piece of it. Here's the break. Here's Champagne. Rips down the breakaway slam. And that's a terrific sequence at both ends there. There was the block shot, then the run out, and nice finish on the break. Here's Gilliard. Pass to Williams. A baseline J. 
Nope, not that time. Nothing for two from the field. Spurs leading by seven. A three from Wembenyama. It's good from long range. Wembenyama has got seven points. I like their focus coming in to perfect execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. Great for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. Here's Gilliard. And the rejection by Wimbenyama! Grizzlies ball. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Here are the Spurs with the ball. They're on a 13-3 run right now. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. And Banyama has got a couple of threes now in the first with the Spurs. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Chalk Good up good. two there. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. San Antonio leading by 11. Here's Branham. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Here's Gilliard. He has yet to score. Shot's good by Kennard. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. And stolen by Wembenyama. Unloads from nine, and another basket for San Antonio. He's becoming a more potent offensive threat. When Johnson is catching and firing, it helps him get into a rhythm. Azell against Kennard. Driving in. And the rejection by Wimbenyama. Substitution on the board. One thirty-five left to play in the first quarter. Rocket six. Here's Jackson. And he converts the layup. Jared this is Jackson how dangerous here. Jackson can be when he's committed to rebounding. Spurs leading by 11. To the wing on the left. Spurs working the ball around now. Brenham. Oh, good with the triple. And the Grizzlies shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Williams. Good on the shot. And that shaves the lead to single digits. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here's Wesley. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Yeah, they haven't appeared in a rush at all. They are just playing to their strengths and building this lead out well. Brenham pulls it in. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Roddy rebounded by the Spurs. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. The beautiful all-around game of Johnson. So dependable when it comes to finding open teammates. Outside Pippen. With the fadeaway. He can't get it to go. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. It's the Spurs up by 15. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And 
one so far through one quarter. It's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for San Antonio? When you pile up the blocks earlier in games, it really can affect the other team. They lose confidence offensively. And not only that, their elite conditioning evident from the pace they're playing offensively. Boy, they are getting out and running. So on the floor to begin things for Memphis here in the second quarter. John Conshaw are out there with Pippen. And there's Jackson. Then it's Williams. And it's Tillman into the five down low. Hey, Greg, gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy ship on their shoulder. They're left on the feet. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jaron Jackson Jr. is a prolific shot blocker, but blocks aren't his goal. He said, I'm playing the game to not foul, make it as hard as I can. If I block it, then cool. Avoiding those whistles is key. John Morant says of Jackson, his defensive presence is big time for us. We're a totally different team with him out there on the floor. Kevin? They are indeed. Hey, D.A., thank you. Here's Conchar. To the middle. Here's Jackson. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Williams, he's checked in for Williams. Johnson, right side. Pass to West. Jackson against Wembenyama. The pass to West. Shot clock at five. Drives to the hoop. And the shot goes in. Wesley. Wesley's got seven. Assisted man. And giving up some inches inside that makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is. Willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. Graham surveying the floor. And that one's good. Mamo Kelly's beating. And the Spurs lead by 20. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want, but guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. Tillman's shot is off. For San Antonio, they've got a nice 3 of 3 to start the second. Wesley the pass to Mamu Kelishvili. And Memphis making a change here. Gilliard checked in. First personal foul. The Grizzlies trail by 20. Substitution on the court. In the corner, Kennard with it. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You, you want to guys in the locker room who have seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. And the Grizzlies with possession here, following the bucket by the Spurs. Vassell finds Jones. Spurs working the ball around now. Down low. Here's Vassell. Trains the wing train. Vassell's got himself on the board with three there. Much more comfortable from deep. Vassell finding that stroke. Tillman. Pass to Kennard. The second chance effort. Good defense by Wembenyama. Spurs leading by 22 to the inside. And the basket by Vassell. Vassell's got five points now this quarter. And this offense is in a perfect time out, time out. rhythm. Time and you can see how they're finishing their play. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. San Antonio making a switch here. Wesley's checked in. And Memphis making a change here. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. And it's the Spurs ball. 
They're on a 14 to 5 run. Rem Benyama down low. Jackson on him. Rem Benyama edge the bucket. Well rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. And Gennard wide open. He shoots. With nobody on him, he parries the jumper. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Rembanyama? Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what'll help. Now, here's Kinnar. Nine points in the game so far. Over Wesley, Kennard shot is off. And here's Wen Binyam. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. Here's Wesley, off with the layup. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Here's Champagny. McDermott passes to Wembanyama. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Wesley the pass to Champagny. It's good for a second make. He's made two or three so far. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's Gilliard, defended by Jones. Williams against Wesley. Williams kicks to Kennard. Off target from three-point range. San Antonio's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. And it's tonight. Here's Gilliard. There's the lob to Jackson. A flawless finish on the alley -oop. Oh, just a picture perfect alley oop. You, you gotta love that. Oh, a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. That is not possible. What we just is that possible? I, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, <laughs> like you said. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And the rejection by Rembanyama. And so it's San Antonio. Ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. The chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we have ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys. We're in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. San Antonio came out looking very confident. They showed great chemistry, going on a quick 10-3 run to open up the game. And they were rolling in that first quarter, up by 15 at the end of it. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? There was no shortage of dimes on this team match. Numerous guys who played good court vision, moved the ball, led to great shots. They're in full control of this game right now. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. It's their defense that's put them in this spot. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a game plan in place. Check out the field goal percentage that they've allowed. Well, that's not going to cut it on I don't even want to talk about it anymore. <sighs> And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway.
And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We're seeing a tremendous game from Victor Wembanyama. Well, he was putting on a passing clinic in that first half, set up a lot of their mates. What stuck out to me was how easily he read the defense and found those cracks for his guys to exploit. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. And it's Champagny in at the small forward position. So that's it. Ray Popovich starts the second half. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, of course, these young Spurs are coached by one of the all-time great coaches in Greg Popovich. Kelvin Johnson says of Pop, he's around here smiling and excited each and every day. To have him along with us is big. And Popovich gives him confidence. Devin Vassell said, as long as we play together and we play the right way, we'll have a chance to win every game. Kevin? And having you know who helps too, right? Rem Benyama makes things happen. David, thanks. A nice shot by Sohan. Sohan. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. Oh, That's going to be on the film. And plenty of contact on the Ray shot. Jones. So, two free throws First coming up. A J after dealing to Jante Murray away in the summer of 2022. The Spurs are intent, it seems, on rebuilding. Well, they did it right. And with the selection of Victor Webinyama, the foundation may be in place for another run. Williams, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Collins, good. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. It's caused them to pull away a bit. Let's see if they can keep the train on the tracks. Here's Gilliard. Pass to Kennard. Shoots over Bissell. Here's Tillman. He's guarded by Collins. Buries it down low. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. And that one is good. The shells got seven. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. Oh, yeah, I can't agree more. They haven't missed. Here's Gilliard. Williams with the ball, into the lane. Outside for Jackson, six to shoot. And the three off target. And it's Jones with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Vassell takes it off the glass. Nine points in the game so far. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. Passes it to Sohan. Jones looking for an opening. Misses the three. The Grizzlies shooting 28%, a rocky, rocky performance for them offensively. The kick out to Williams. Gets the three-pointer to fall. See, he had time to line it up, and you know what? He's capable. San Antonio's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And the basket by Jones. I just love when teams make it work down low. Memphis has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Gilliard, defended by Jones. Outside Jackson. Tillman passes to Williams. Vassell grabs the board. And the Spurs with possession. They're on a 15-6 run. And good that time. Jones has got four this quarter. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. When it comes to Trey Jones, Richard, what has impressed you most about him so far? 
Well, Kev, it's his deceptive versatility. He scores, he passes, he rebounds, he does everything at a solid rate. And most importantly, this man just plays so hard when he's out there. Here's Gilliard following the bucket by the Spurs. A minute 20 Gilliard. left to play in the third. Lays it up and banks it in. Gilliard's got five. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Here's Gilliard. Five points in the game. Here's Jackson. A rebound by the Spurs. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing call. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. The Grizzlies shooting an ugly 27% since halftime. Tipped away. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. Memphis ball. Substitution on the board. And so it's Memphis with it. Now Concho. No good with the layup. 30 seconds left in the third. They double team Ren Benyama. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Graham with the bucket. The Grizzly shooting a pretty sorry 29% from the floor here. And here's Pippen. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive forward so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Spurs opening up a huge gap. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. San Antonio has gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. So the Grizzlies five right now. We've got John Concho. He's out there with Pippen. Jackson is out there with Santi Aldama. And it's Roddy in at the four spot. And so it's Memphis with it. After the basket by San Antonio. Pippen, the pass to Roddy. At the elbow, it's Jackson. Shot clock at six. Takes a three. And it's Osman with the rebound. Here's San Antonio. Inside, here's Johnson. That crops. Nice feed that time from Wembenyama. He is extremely comfortable and confident around that paint. We'll see a lot of points from Keldon Johnson in that area. And the rejection by Wembenyama! Graham finds Wembenyama. Bucket is good. Wembenyama has got four points in the quarter. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stands for the Spurs. All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. And another place they're finding success is in transition. They've been working hard to get ahead of the defense and find those easy ones. Here's Osman. Ren Banyama gets the bucket. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Here's Conchar. Graham defending. Here's Jackson. The Grizzlies with another miss. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Here in the fourth quarter, the defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. 
And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. This is what you expect from him, just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Second wow. And Memphis making a change here. With the Grizzlies, Richard, we've heard about an emphasis on defense in the past few years. Yeah, and there has been some improvement. They were a middle-of-the-road type defensive team not too long ago, but the last few seasons, they have played impact defense. Here's Pippen, and he can't stop the run as he misses. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. In a major drought, they need to find some sort of momentum. Now, this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. They've been able to attack the defense before they get set, really making the most of their fast break opportunities. Now, here's Pippen. Conchar on the wing. Shoots over Wesley. The Grizzlies with another miss. Really thought he had this one, and the defense, they were giving it to him. And finish off by Collins. Nice feed inside, saw the play develop, and hit him right when he needed to. Now, here's Pippen. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And just taking his frustration out on the rim. He ends a huge run by the Spurs. Here's Wesley. From outside, off the mark. The Grizzlies shooting just 26% out there. A terrible showing from an offense capable of much better. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, it's hard to believe how long Greg Popovich has been in the helm, isn't it? And it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches last decades anymore. The Grizzlies making a change here. Tillman's checked in. Oh, okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk. No question. Here's Bippen. There's the pass to Tillman. Two minutes. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And it's the Spurs ball. They're on a 20 to six run. Spurs working the ball around now. Gwen Banyama hits the bucket. Gwen Banyama has got 15 points in just the second half. For Memphis, they've gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Good. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. Here's Champagny, guarded by Jackson. Three-pointer, Graham bangs on the trifecta. Graham's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Spurs. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games, and they've made that adjustment since the break. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Spurs. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget, and on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Victor Wembenyama. And let's just say this, the name of the game is scoring, and yes, he provided that tonight. You're welcome. McDermott kicks to West, the three. And it's in, basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Pass to Eldama. Here's Tillman. Just five to shoot. 
Here's Conshaw. That one's off. Still out of sync. Ben Benyama with it. And so it's San Antonio. Easily taking this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. Right? It's a great feeling when you play Thank almost you a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. So long.